Today I will be discussing a concept called Theory of Mind from Chapter 1 of our textbook, A Concise Introduction to Linguistics by Bruce M. Rowe and Diane P. Levine. It is said that this hypothesis distinguishes humans from non-humans in the way they communicate. Theory of mind is defined as the ability to predict and characterize the mental state of others. In other words, mind reading what others are thinking about you. Humans from before they can speak have always had a natural desire to communicate their thoughts and are always predicting others' emotional state and assuming what people are thinking of them. This is due to the empathetic sense we have. For instance, when someone frowns, a child might ask that person if they are sad. If they smile, they assume they are happy about some good news they might have received. The ability to read people's facial expression, tone of voice, and body language is what distinguishes humans from non-humans. When we are adults, most of this exists as an internal dialogue. For example, we might be careful by consciously calculating how we use our words as to not upset or offend anybody. Politicians would be an extreme example of how they are able to calculate every word and sentence for their specific target audience just to win votes on elections. Another example would be the words you use with a child. If you are a parental figure, you would want to avoid any negative words that might be repeated by the little one that would cause embarrassment to you in a social situation. Furthermore, sociologists and psychologists assume that the concept of the theory of mind plays a big part in our personalities and behaviors. They concluded that our reactions are altered based on what we might think others are thinking of us. These predictions and calculations are based on the individual's socialization within a specific society within a particular culture. A phenomenon discovered by sociologist Charles Horton Cooley called the looking glass self establishes that this is the human characteristic of building a concept of self through assuming the perceptions of what others might have of us. In contrast, there are some animals such as dogs who might be able to tell when their owner is sad and show affection to them to cheer them up. However, this theory is difficult to test on non-human animals because it appears absent or is highly limited to other animals. To conclude, the theory of mind is used by mostly humans by calculating what is said with their tone of voice, facial expressions, body language, and thus they are able to predict, assume, and read people's state of mind and their every move, although not always accurately. Thanks for watching.